This is the way to start off a new year. A trailer for what looks like a great horror sequel. Them bitch is rare. The Quiet Place 2 trailer has hit online. It looks to be just as good as the first, keeping in line with the tone and some of the atmosphere that the previous Quiet Place has set up. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is breaking down some of the things you might have missed in this trailer. Things that connected to the first movie, hints of what could possibly go on in this film, along with some speculation to what it could all mean. So be sure you guys are leaving your thoughts of this new trailer down below. Did you like it? Did you not? And leave a like if you can't wait till March to eat popcorn all awkwardly because it's deadly silent in that theater. So the first thing we're going to touch upon is that they're showing us day one of this outbreak. This movie is said to touch on more of the origins and possibly where these creatures come from. Outside of the movie space, John Krasinski's already been pretty vocal about where he believes these creatures have come from. And his answer is aliens. Whether he decides to implement that into the movie or not will be up to him. They could be anywhere from a science experiment gone wrong to who knows where they came from, which I think would be the preferred answer. But we get a look at the kid at the beginning of the first quiet place who just had to have that little NASA toy that was the opening death for a quiet place. This is him right here sitting in his booster chair. It's also worth pointing out that they are driving past the store they will eventually get their supplies from in the first quiet place. And also that loud toy that gets the boy killed. I mean, just look at him looking out the window. He already knows that toy is in there and he's going to do anything he can to get it. He don't care about an apocalypse. From there, a more obvious thing you might have caught as this scene continues to play out, one of the kids points out, hey, that dad and that is the same truck that we see in the quiet place where his children are trapped and that led to his ultimate demise i think this is going to be a great way to bring back the dad character without us being like whoa he didn't just come back to life now because i thought the dad character was fantastic was really carrying that film and the fact that this sequel we weren't going to get him really made me sad but flashback scenes not to how this family survived in the first place how they got the idea to put sand down in trails setting up all these other traps it's a great way for the dad character to be explored without having to bring him back from the dead but i am skeptical if he'll actually have him or if he'll be kept aside as he's there but we're not going to show him as a respect to his memory the only reason i believe that is because well he's nowhere to be seen in this trailer that could be not to confuse audiences to be like whoa i thought that guy died in the last movie why is he back some might not understand that these are flashbacks or maybe the john krasinski scenes are crucial to the origins of these creatures Features, and they're saving all that for the movie. Next thing here is the reason why they're leaving. Now we were already told that the second movie would be about the family moving away from the farm and heading to an urban setting where they would meet more survivors of this quiet place. From that description, we all thought, well, it was a mutual decision. They're like, well, we can't live on the farm forever. We got to go explore. But it looks like another accident happens on the farm that compromises their home where they realize they just can't stay here anymore because we get shots of the barn being burnt down as as well as other shots in the trailer that show the son staring at his barn you can see the red lights there that indicate this is their home it was either an incident that occurred while trying to protect themselves from these creatures or it could just be them burning down their location as a symbolic gesture of we move forward and we're not going to be too chicken to turn around and run back to our cozy home next thing here that i thought was pretty brilliant and i'm happy they are going to address it because we're all wondering how do you go ahead and decide to go out in the wild with a freaking baby? This also gives us an idea of the time period of the movie because the child still seems to be in its infancy. So that means it's probably only a couple of months since the first Quiet Place has occurred. And one of the tactics the family is using, because we know they're pretty smart with the way they move around in this Quiet Place, is that they're carrying a chest that on the inside has been padded to be soundproof, attaching an oxygen tank at the top so that when they place the baby in side it is able to breathe just as fine and it can scream and cry all it wants without them being compromised in the wild i really love how they're going to go ahead and implement something like that and i think that really works we actually get to see the baby in it in later shots of this trailer i still think it's pretty wild to have this baby out there and you know it's going to cause some scenes where it's crying where it's upset but this chest right here i think is an actual solution and could stop us from getting that repetitive scene of oh the baby's about to cry everybody run but it isn't only just just the mother who is carrying this special 
chest later on in the final shots of this trailer we also know what she is carrying in her smaller chest if you remember the first quiet place you saw that they figured out a weakness for these monsters and that is high frequency sound it seems that they have detached that microphone along with a small speaker and are carrying it around as a secret weapon in case they ever get trapped and that final shot of the trailer seems to be in the same scene of how they'll defeat this creature that is chasing them after they set off that trap which will probably be one of the reasons why this man decides to help them if not for the baby they realize they found a secret way to get rid of these creatures along with that though it's also worth pointing out why a human being would set up a trap like that that would purposely get someone killed if they stepped onto their property this new individual that the group meets informs them that the people you want to save are not worth saving this is really what a quiet place 2 will be about that i think is brilliant is that the creatures will actually be sidelined in this movie and the real monsters will be people themselves this is an ongoing thing that happens in apocalypse movies even if you take a look at the walking dead more people started dying off because of actual people than zombies this movie will flesh out what it means to survive in the apocalypse what some people are willing to do to be ahead to not get eaten up and how willing they are to sacrifice other people i like this a lot especially since shots in the trailer it looks like we go to a small town that seems to be doing just fine in this apocalypse if you look around there doesn't seem to be any traps any armory it just looks like a nice quiet small town but there could be something more sinister in line because this shot of the stranger staring down that kid and being completely shocked has me to believe that there might be some sort of creature human hybrid or maybe there's a disease from these creatures that mutate human beings it could be more literal in the sense when he says these people are not worth saving because well they've already ended up on the other side with these creatures obvious speculation but that's the fun of movies we speculate till we see the real thing another thing worth catching in the trailer is that the family does receive a broadcast signal you can see the sun get up and listen to it this signal could be what leads them to that small town where they think is safe or it could be a safe haven that has been cleared of all the monsters has military protection and they want to go out there to share what they know about these creatures and the last thing here is not really something you miss but more something I want to debunk already with this trailer coming out there's already a lot of people discussing that there's a new creature in the trailer that we're getting an upgrade or a different being which I don't want to disprove that but from what we've seen in the trailer this is the same monster from the first quiet place the main reason people are thinking it's a different creature is because of the feet if you look at the trailer most of the things the creature does in this movie have the three long spiky fingers when if we look back at the first quiet place it had more of a stump so people are seeing that and are thinking oh they've upgraded the creatures these are a different kind when in reality this is the same creature it's just when it's in rest position it bends its arms to be in that stump and when it wants to attack its claws come out i can see why people think it's different especially since it also looks like a different color these look to be more yellowish brown when the ones in the first movie seem to be more of a gray nonetheless i hope we get some sort of advanced creatures some sort of different ones maybe smaller ones but so far from what we've seen in this trailer I don't think these are new ones. But anyways, guys, those are just some things you might have missed from a Quiet Place 2 trailer. I am super hyped for this movie. It's looking really good. Horror sequels are always iffy, but it seems to be going in a different direction, and that's always a formula for success, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought about this and what things you caught that I might have missed. Anything and everything, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3 Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.